What's up, YouTube? Um, saw the news report yesterday night. Uh, Lore is uh, moving up to 160. He's going after Golovkin. You think I read that article? Fuck no. Lore ain't doing shit. Lore, all Lore is doing is name dropping. Okay? Name dropping. Gennady Golovkin's name. Knowing he has full intention to never take that fight. Laura doesn't have a chance in hell. You know it. I know it. And most definitely he knows it. But he hides behind Al Heyman. Making these claims. Lighting up his Twitter account. Talking trash. Talking all that bullshit. He don't have a chance in hell against Triple G. I don't even care how much he runs. He won't be able to get away from Triple G. And he knows it. Let's look at the uh, last couple fights of uh, Laura. He fought Trout, he fought uh, Angula, he fought Canelo. Angula, all right? Probably the slowest prodder, you know, slowest flat-footed come forward fighters with a name in all of boxing in the last 10 years. Angula dropped Lore twice, man. Maybe that's why he runs now. Because he got that little, little uh, stomach and I, I don't know. Alright. So he struggled with, with Angula. He won that fight. But he has dropped twice. And Angula's eye just blew up like a lemon. Alright. He fights Canelo. What happens in that fight? People said that he got robbed. He didn't get robbed of shit. He robbed himself. He ran, man. Canelo's trying to engage him. And, and, and Laura ran around and around. Dude, he was picking frequent flyer miles up uh, for uh, as much as he was running. So all this talk that uh, Triple G hasn't fought nobody. Uh, he needs to fight Laura. Laura needs to fight him. Matter of fact, Laura needs to fight somebody. He looked good against Trout, but Trout ain't knocking people out. But that was a good win. But Laura's talking a lot of shit, hiding behind Al Heyman, just trying to get his name out there. Hey, look at me. I'm, I'm relevant. I'm still here, you know? I want you to fight somebody in the top 10, Laura, at middleweight. And then by all means, I want you to step up to the plate, fight Triple G, so we can end your career. Laura's a lot like Andre Ward. Andre Ward hasn't done shit. All he does is name drop with no intention to fight nobody. He waits till after the Lemieux fight is signed with Triple G and then he starts crying. Oh, yeah, we offered him a fight, but he didn't take it. I, I, hey, look, I got the email. Fuck you, Ward. You don't challenge yourself, dude. You're living off the past from 2011-12. The Super Six. You're fucking scared fighter. You got a guy that wants you. It's a good, good uh, money making fight. Uh, and the gal, time after time, he calls you out, calling you a pussy, calling you a fucking phony, calling you chicken shit. And your your hey, uh, Ward's lips are, are mute, man. Lock seal, doesn't say shit. No comment. Then I see, I recorded it, and I. Uh, I watched it last night, the fight game with uh, Lapley on HBO, and they interviewed Ward, and the, the blonde uh, hottie, she she asked Ward, so you signed this contract with HBO, and you're on a collision course with Kovala, why not now? Wow, we got to let it firm, eh? You know, so look at Pacquiao and Mayweather, they, they let it firm, eh? We didn't, they didn't fight when the fans wanted it, they they waited six years, and and it was the biggest making uh, money maker in all of boxing history. Right there, he's telling you he knows he'll get beat. He knows the end game is, is Kovla. That's why uh, Ward hasn't challenged himself. That's why he's got more excuses than, than uh, uh, you know, I can't think of anything, but he's full of shit. He fucking fights these journeymen. Same with Lord. They fight these journeymen. To fight to go, Ward. You didn't clean out shit. You didn't clean out the, the 168 division, but your supporters say you did, but you didn't. You clean out by unifying all four belts. 
I tell you what, I want a Triple G to, to become the unification champion, you know, at 160. Triple G, get that Andy Lee fight, take care of business. You know, uh, Canelo and uh, Cotto ain't gonna fight you. They'll drop that belt within the 15 days that you're supposed to, they're supposed to negotiate for the WBC. It'll come and pass. They'll drop the belt. So fuck it. Go after Andre Ward, uh, Gennady. Take his ass out before uh, Kovalev does. It'll, it'll help rise your stock that's already sky high. And then, of course, uh, all the supporters for Ward is a wow. Uh, he aged and uh, ring rust and uh, all these excuses. No, fuck that shit. He's on the pound for pound. Why he's on the pound for pound list? Number two, I have no idea. He should not be there. He hasn't fought anybody re re relevant since Chad Dawson. And I'll say dumbass Chad Dawson for agreeing to that uh, come down to 168. But he challenged himself. I, you know, it's not Ward's fault that he got. Uh, Dawson to agree but I'm just tired of these fighters you know name dropping and they're full of shit just trying to make their name relevant and Ward you got more fucking injuries than, than, than the roster on the Special Olympics I mean what the fuck dude I, I got no respect for you anyway the way you played out the, in court with uh, Goosen you know, three times you were in court and you lost, and Goosen had to pass away for you to get out of the contract. It was three fights, dude. Three freaking fights. You could have took out, uh, took care of that contract within a year. But you cried and moaned like a bitch, and you're supposed to be son of God? How dare you freaking disrespect God's name? You're not honorable. You don't have no respect for yourself, the sport. And when I heard last night, you know, on the fight game interview that, well, we... We got to let that ferment with uh, Kova. Bullshit, dude. You're fucking chicken. And you're a pussy. And I have no respect for you as a fighter. You might be a good human being as far as taking care of your family and stuff. But in boxing, stick a fork in you and Laura. You're both done. And I want Triple G to end both of your careers. And that's what's going to happen. That's all I got. Fuck this shit. Fucking scared ass pussies. Later.